Hi everyone, welcome to Physical Geography 100 at Southwestern College. My name is Professor Davis and I wanted to go over the syllabus with you really quickly just to highlight some things that will be important throughout the course and then if you have further questions afterwards you can reach out to me and we can go into greater detail. So this is our syllabus that we see right here. You can find all of my contact information here at the beginning. I do prefer emails through the Canvas inbox. So if you just go to the Canvas inbox to send messages to me, that's usually the fastest way to get a hold of me. I will have office hours on Wednesdays from 1 to 2.15 p.m. So those will be on Zoom and the link is right here. If you, if you do plan to come to an office hour, just shoot me an email and let me know and I will be sure to to log on or schedule it so that we don't have more than one person at a time. So uh, again, just please shoot me an email beforehand and let me know that you do plan to attend office hours on that day. I do try to respond to my emails within 24 hours. That's Monday through Friday though. On weekends, I try not to be on my computer all of the time. It's really much better for my mental health if I take a few days off too. So, you know, if you're worried about, you know, last minute things, I would just recommend that you turn everything in by Friday if if you can. And then that way, if you want to correspond with me before the deadlines, then, then you have a better chance of doing that before the next module opens because this is an eight-week class. So these modules go pretty quickly. <clears throat> you can read through the course description, where to get technical support in your syllabus. Also, same thing, you can look through the student learning outcomes on your own. The required materials are pretty much you need to have a computer, uh, good internet, and in, you can get Microsoft Word software, Office 365 for free through your Southwestern email address. So if you don't have that, go ahead and check that out. You don't have to buy a textbook. So I've worked on this course to make it open and free open resource to you. So each chapter is posted as a PDF file within the modules. And there's also a link to the entire textbook on the very first page of the class, just below my picture on the home page. So if you wanted to, for some reason, open the entire textbook at once, that's fine. But I'll have those chunks of reading for you posted in the modules. So that should help you save a little bit of money. I, I hope that that's a good thing for you. Attendance and participation. I've had, this semester has been a little strange. I've had to, I've had a lot of students like not even show up the first week and had to drop and add a whole bunch. So especially in this eight week class, you definitely need to submit you need to submit your first modules, discussions, quizzes, and assignments to be considered present in the class. Otherwise, you might be dropped. So make sure you don't skip that first week. And this is the breakdown of your grades. You can look over that. Basically, we have discussions, quizzes, assignments, and a final exam for your grade. I do not accept late work. Of course, if there's an emergency, please let me know and maybe we can work something out. But otherwise, you've really got to turn this stuff in on time. When we've got these condensed courses, it's just there's no time to be skipping and missing any of it if, if possible. All right. But again, I understand that sometimes emergencies happen. And so please contact me if you need special accommodations made. Obviously, no plagiarism. Those are the rules. You can read through all of this as well. And then the last little bit of your syllabus here is just a breakdown of when everything is due. So you can see the chapter, the reading assignment, the discussion, quiz, assignment, all these dates are posted here. They're also posted in Canvas. So really there shouldn't be any surprises or excuses for why you can't, you know, turn things in on time. So hopefully that's not going to be an issue for any of you this semester. And so even though, like, say, for example, your first quiz is due Friday, there's no reason you can't turn that quiz in on Wednesday or Tuesday. So, you know, that's the beauty of these online classes. If you're busy and you've got a lot going on, just make it work with your schedule. Just make sure that you don't go past those deadlines. That's the key. The only week that's going to be a little bit different is week six. And that's because we've got the holiday, uh, Thanksgiving holiday there. So 
I think you'll like that week actually because <laughs> you don't have a discussion or assignment due that week. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same. Every week, every module, you're going to have discussions on Thursday due, responses on Saturday due, your quizzes are always due on Fridays, except for the special week, and then your assignments are always due on Saturdays. So hopefully you'll just kind of get into that rhythm and you'll you'll be ready to turn those things in as the week goes on. And then our last day is December 14th, and that's when your final exam is due. Of course, again, you can take it earlier than that. You can take it in the beginning of the week if you you know just want to play it safe and make sure you don't have any like oh no computer outage five minutes before the whole course closes or something the final exam is cumulative meaning that it's going to cover everything that you have studied throughout the class so it's going to go from chapter one to chapter seven including all of that material and really i, I don't do study guides pretty much the whole course is your study guide. <laughs> but if you, you know, if you want to have a way to prepare for it, just look in the very first page of the modules. I I have like goals and objectives of the of the chapter posted. So I would just go through those as you study and just make sure that you understand all those goals and objectives and then the quizzes will be very similar to the final exam. So as long as you're doing well on those quizzes, you should do pretty well in the final too. So I think that's all of it. And I look forward to the semester. Please feel free to reach out to me through my Canvas inbox if you have any questions or you need any additional support. And I'll be here for you every step of the way. So good luck and welcome to the class.